Hi guys, it's Salman here from A Garden Revived, and today I am a sinus infection revived. I feel very stuffed up, but you know what? I have my second wind from medicine, so I just had to get out of the house. I felt even stuffier being inside, and it feels nice. It's like a cool 30 degrees outside, maybe. We're having another um, winter storm kind of thing going on in Texas right now. I recently took a trip to Dallas, Texas, and I found these dwarf columbine seed, and this is the area in the front garden where we have the tulips and the concrete pots right here and it's shaded by this crepe myrtle which was unfortunately crepe murdered this year. I um, was having it grow upright but someone visited the garden and kind of knuckled the tree and <sighs> things happen. So anyways I want to seed some dwarf columbine and I just want to show you my process. These do prefer to be seeded at least um, six to eight weeks before your last frost so ours is kind of around that um, time period and they do have a better germination rate if they have been subject to the cold for four weeks i believe 40 degrees and below so it'll kind of hover around that so i'm just going to sprinkle some seeds in let me show you what i'm going to do now this area right here i'm going to see it in kind of a drift going this way around the crepe myrtle and I did have a lot of this landscaping fabric here to suppress weed growth, but I want these to make direct contact with the ground right here and then be able to seed themselves. So I just cut away a little bit of a drift. And I have some garden soil right here. This is from Espoma Organics. Just a very healthy, lofty soil mix for in-ground planting. This is just gonna help amend the kind of, oof, not so good soil I have in this spot. And I kind of brought this pitchfork out here to help till the soil a little bit. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is take some Biotone starter fertilizer. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of that just in this area where I'm gonna be seeding these columbine. Mix it in. There is a drip tube right here. And next, after all that, we're just going to seed the columbine pretty loosely. Ooh, these are little seeds. Okay, I'm just gonna seed these kind of liberally. Cover the seeds up a bit. Just gonna put some of the mulch that was in this area back over. And that's it. That's all we have to do now that my sweatpants are nice and mulched over. <laughs> it says these will take about three to four weeks to germinate, so I'll post an update in four weeks on how these are doing. And if you have any tips for direct seeding or your process for direct seeding, leave it down in the comment section and consider subscribing if you have not subscribed. I will be back here. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.